Okay, so for our three equations, the main important thing, guys, that we're going to follow is what we call the power rule. And the power rule basically states if you have x to the n, then d over dx is going to be n times x to the n minus 1. Okay? That is basically what we're calling the power rule. And basically, the easy way that I kind of remember to do it is whatever the power is, you bring it down and then you shake it down, which is basically subtracting the 1. Okay? So, in this case, you guys can see here that I have 4 as my power. So it's going to be y equals 4 times x, and then I'm just going to subtract 1, which will give me 3. Fair enough? OK. Now, in the next example, I have, I have a fraction. Well, again, we've only talked about the power rule. So the power rule only needs to apply when we have it uh, written as a, uh, just a, as a positive power. Or not a positive power, but in the numerator. So let's rewrite this with negative exponents. Right? Remember, if you have a power in the denominator, if you put it back in the numerator, it's now going to be negative. So now I can do the same thing. Oops, sorry, that's y prime. So now y prime equals negative 4x to the negative fifth. Now, typically, that's mathematically correct. Usually, though, guys, simplified form, which you would see like on a multiple choice test, is going to put that as a positive variable. Oh, I'm sorry, as a positive power. So you guys should just know kind of the difference. There's nothing mathematically wrong with that, but typically we're going to be writing our answers like this. Okay. And then last but not least is when we have a root. Um, remember, guys, that radical has a 1 to it. And x equals a over b. So in this case, what we need to do is we can rewrite this as y equals x to the 1 fourth. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing. y equals 1 fourth times x to the 1 fourth minus 1. I'm going to show it like that just because I know fractions sometimes gets us a little confused. Right? But you guys would agree with my math. I'm doing the same thing, right? It doesn't matter if it's negative numbers or fractions. Are you guys following me? Does anybody know? Yes? It's okay, you can talk. So just remember, guys, 1 is the same thing as 4 fourths. So really what we have is y equals 1 fourth x to the negative 3 fourths, which i got to write my derivative, sorry. Then y prime is going to equal 1 over 4x to the 3 fourths. Or you could write it like that as well. Okay? Rational powers are fine. We usually want them to at least be positive, though. But you should know how to go from rational powers to radicals as well, and back and forth. Okay. You guys want to try some?